more on an invitation to pray at the throne of grace. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Hebrews 4 verse 16 Seated upon the throne which rules this universe is the sovereign, holy, judge of all humanity. Yet, he is also the God of all grace, 1 Peter 5 verse 10. All who relate rightly to him, through humble faith in Jesus Christ, can come boldly to that throne, praying with assurance that mercy and grace will be his response. Truly, the Lord Jesus is the reason that we can answer the invitation to come boldly to the throne of grace. His death on the cross opened the way for us to come into God's presence, allowing us to talk to him directly in prayer. It is as though the Holy of Holies is now our family den. God is our Father, who delights to commune with his children as we pray to him, therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way which he consecrated for us, Hebrews 10 verses 19 to 20. This new and living way is the new covenant of grace. It is by the Lord's grace alone that we can come to his throne of grace, that we might live daily by his grace. At this inviting throne of God, we obtain mercy. Mercy is heaven's wondrous companion to grace. Mercy is God's provision for holding back from us the awful things that we actually deserve, due to our sin and rebellion. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, let him return to the Lord, and he will have mercy on him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon, Isaiah 55 verse 7. Now, each day, his children can benefit from the faithful mercies of God. Through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning, great is your faithfulness, Lamentations 3 verses 22 to 23. Also, at this inviting throne of God, we find grace to help in time of need. Our initial need was for the Lord's saving grace, which brought forgiveness for our ungodliness and made heaven our eternal home for by grace you have been saved through faith, Ephesians 2 verse 8. Our ongoing need would be for transforming grace for the developing of a godly life here on earth. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that, denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present age, Titus 2 verses 11 to 12. In prayer at the throne of grace, we find God's continuing supply of grace. That grace is irreplaceable and sufficient to sustain us through, and use us in, the needy situations we encounter daily at home, work, school, church, wherever. Let us pray. O Lord, supplier of all mercy and grace, I rejoice that your mercies are new every day. Have mercy on me, dear Lord. I praise you that your all-encompassing grace is available through humble, trusting prayer. Pour your grace out on me, dear Lord, 